I bet the one thing Batman doesn't have in his utility belt, theme song. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Words Are Hard show, or podcast, or whatever we're calling it now. Specifically, being a big fucking nerd with Greg. Fuck branding. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, today I thought we'd talk about something that uh, might make Mike a little happy. It's, because uh, as, as we've discussed many times before, my favorite hero is Batman. And Mike can't stand Batman. Uh, it's not that I can't stand him. I just don't see the appeal. Yeah. So, I thought I'd give you a few reasons why you can, will continue to not see the appeal. Because I'm going to talk about some of the just oddest things that he's had in his utility belt in certain comic storylines. Okay. So, it's not even necessarily that it's, that it's something completely strange. In some cases, it might be strange or useless. Mm -hmm. But in other cases, you're just going to be like, why does he have that in his belt? Okay. Uh, <laughs> and I need you to do me a favor. I need you to justify in which scenarios he had to use these things. Oh, explain why. If possible, it, yeah. It was there? Okay. Well, I, I, bet, can, even, I, bet, I bet most of them are like I, I was just saying, I, I don't think I can necessarily justify well, some mean, of these. Like, <laughs> like, everybody knows the famous clip where he's like, get me my shark repellent bat spray. And it's like, I get that because there was a shark attacking him. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if he had something to keep the sharks away, why wouldn't you use it? Yeah, why I mean, wouldn't it be are called they all... shark repellent? Yeah, I mean, exactly. How many of them are, are situational, though, that are literally only good in that one situation? And that's I mean, that's what a lot of this list is going to be. It's, my... it's not something that there, that isn't useful. It's something like, like you, you literally use that once. Why do you have that in your My belt? question is how how obvious are the names, too? Because shark repellent back spray is very obvious. What it is. Oh, no, we're being attacked by a giant... Mutant amputee squirrel. What are we going to do? Give me Hans? my giant amputee squirrel. I, I think you'll find yeah. some of those what, might be. What are we going to do? Hands clasped over mouth boy. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we got? So first thing, apparently Batman carries a saw in his utility belt. You know what? If there's anything utility belts are for, what kind of a saw? Yeah, like a hacksaw. Like a full-sized <laughs> hacksaw. Like a bone saw? No, so just... no. Like, like, yeah, like a wood saw. Huh. I guess. I, I get it. I mean, I, I get it. It makes sense, I, I, but like... I kind of can. Does it like fold up or some shit? I, I've got a belt to. that holds a, a saw. Yeah. No, but like a full-sized... What do you mean by full-sized? Well, like, again, we, we like can't a, like show... A, like a two-person, like, lumberjack, like, like saw? <laughs> like that, that, that kind of saw. No, so just like a regular, just the wood like saw. Like a regular wood saw, yeah. Just the wood saw. <clears throat> Which, again, I'm, I'm not quite sure how that would fit in the utility belt. It doesn't have to fit in. just clips on. Well, maybe. But again, you don't normally see Batman running around with a friggin' wood saw flapping Does, around at his do, side. Do you think it do you think that the uh that the saw um just kinda sitting there on his belt might cut the upholstery in the bat I almost called it the Batmo wagon. The Batmo wagon. Batmo wagon. <laughs> Gotta love that Batmo wagon. This is why you're the nerd authority. The Batmobile. <laughs> the Batmo wagon. I would be scared about cutting up the, the the upholstery, the upholstery in the Batmobile. Yeah. I wouldn't, because Bruce Wayne's got all kinds of cash to just get that shit reupholstered every day. <laughs> Who reupholsters it? What? He, in the comics, he actually has a car guy. He has a guy that's like overseas that specifically builds all the Batmobiles for him. Huh. Yeah. Well, next? <laughs> so, a mirror. A mirror? Yep. Like a compact? Yep. yep. Like. Does it have like foundation in it no just just okay. a mirror I mean, like it's i wish my <laughs> wife heard me say that she'd be so proud of me you named a makeup <laughs> so <laughs> oh my God. wait i guess i should back up you wanted me to justify why he had the saw i i told you you didn't need to <laughs> i mean oh, the mirror okay. okay here's the thing the mirror is just taking up space like why do you always need a mirror on you look around corners yeah, in this particular case, he just literally used the mirror to reflect sunlight in someone's face. <laughs> to blind them. I mean, he could use his bat Hold watch. still! He could use a batarang for the same thing, because they tend to be depicted as or can use metallic his, his, items. His, his blind spray. So it's redundant. So he doesn't need the mirror. He has bat batarangs. He has, and he probably has something else shiny <laughs> on him. He's, he's a millionaire. He's got... 
the he's bat Visa sight. card. Yeah, he's got like a Rolex. He can like <laughs> yeah. money, the greatest superpower. Yeah, and the best part is in the storyline where they showed that he had a mirror in the in his bat utility belt. Mm-hmm. It wasn't a villain that he was blinding. He was using it to to shine light into kid's face to make him walk away from train tracks. <laughs> so he was trying to hurt a kid with nuts. Hey, <laughs> should we yell at the kid to tell him to watch out? No, I've got something way more complex. <laughs> <laughs> I've got this mirror. We'll just shine light in his face. Kid gets hit by the train. He's like, oh, fuck, I missed. <laughs> I guess. He he also apparently carries around instant freeze chemicals in his bat. Okay, oh. that's one of those ones where it's not explained. Not, not that's too, okay. Yeah. Take it to flash like that. Tell, right? like, tell, t- tell me about instant freeze stuff. Yeah, well, in this particular case, he was going up against the Joker. Okay. And they were putting... What is this? I don't even understand this. <laughs> the power of research, folks. <laughs> the, the Joker was, was attacking a, a pool or something. A and, swimming pool? Yeah, and Batman... <laughs> decided to freeze the swimming pool. The problem that's kind of when lame. did Batman come out? First Batman ever. Nineteen. Oh, I can't even think straight. It was in the forties. I'm pretty sure. The problems they had back then. Yeah. The Joker's attacking the pool. Pools closed, children. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're talking like we are literally talking like seventy years. The Joker before. pooped in the pool. <laughs> the pool is always closed. Yeah. Basically, this is 70 years before the pool. Oh, I stand corrected. I completely misread this. Good. <laughs> the whole premise of this one was that the Joker and Batman switched minds. So it was the Joker in Batman's body that, was that wanted to pool. play pranks. That was pooping and in the pool. one of his pranks was to use Batman's chemicals to freeze the pool. That's... He's like, I know. What, what has he got in here? He's like a saw. That being no, said, Amer- it's still useful in other situations. Like I, I can see that being... I, how I, how I much can it that. freeze, though? Only a swimming pool size? Apparently this can one you was just, just like, enough to freeze a pool. Can you just it, create like an inconvenient block of ice in the water? Did Batman <laughs> sink cubes. the Titanic? I, I'm thinking it was Batman that sent the Titanic. He, he was, Bruce Wayne was on the Titanic, got drunk, fell overboard... And then the chemicals fell out of his belt and formed the iceberg that the Titanic hit. So does, it, does that mean like Bruce Wayne is stuck inside the iceberg? No, because it, he got out of the way. Yeah, he used his uh, he used he his, his freeze repellent bat spray. Yep, yeah. <laughs> his his bat heat heat repellent. Like how many how many of these bat sprays can there be? Like that's just like you know, so situational. It's just like his utility belt. It's funny you should ask because the next item is bat female villain repellent. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Axe body spray. <laughs> <laughs> now, to be Hashtag fair, not sponsored, obviously. Yeah, fuck you. Uh, I'll point out that some of the stuff that that's on this list isn't stuff that happened in like the mainstream comic. Okay. So, so in this particular situation, it was a comic where different versions of Batman, Batman kept turning into different versions of himself. Okay. So like one was like the 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 Tim Burton Batman, and then he turned into he eventually turns into the Adam West version of Batman. And he just happens to have a spray in his utility belt. I feel like Adam what West. Is this? It's it's female villain. Yeah, bat female villain repellent. So what if what if she was born as a female, but she identifies as a male? What if she's like uh, pre-op transgendered? I'm guessing it would be genetic. So even though you remove the parts, you still you have that chromosome in you that tells you that you're male or female. Not necessarily. I, I get where he's coming it's from. It's a social construct, so, Greg. So Let's not get into this. Mike's triggered now. Fucking Batman. Fuck, I'm triggering the shit I, out of Here's me. the thing. I guess you, you mentioned that he's morphing into like all these like other versions of Batman. I think Adam West is probably... He, he's the most campy Batman. Like, just like the most ridiculous over the Even top. Even more campy than Bat Nipples and the Bat Credit Card. The, we the, don't talk about... No. The funny thing the is, exists. a lot of the, the campiness that now, happened in the Batman comics was in direct response to the Adam West Batman TV show because it became popular. You just referred to that Batman as the Tim Burton Batman. Now, the last time we had a conversation about Batman, 
and I said, didn't Tim Burton direct that? You corrected the shit out of me. Because you got the wrong one directed as Tim Burton. Fuck you. <laughs> you said that Batman and Robin was directed by Tim Burton. It wasn't. The very first Batman and Batman Returns were both directed by Tim Burton. We don't, we don't talk about Batman Returns. Batman Returns was fine. It was the two others that came after that. Which one was Mr. Frieza? That was, that, that was Batman Forever, wasn't it? Can we take a step back and, and, yes, just, say, and just say that Arnold Schwarzenegger as Mr. Freeze is my favorite Batman villain ever? I was okay with him being Mr. Freeze. Oh, the fucking Frozen puns. Yeah, Here, it was uh, great. When he busts through the wall at that party and everyone's running, he goes, Everybody chill. Here's the... F- I mean, You freeze. <laughs> Um, game theory. Uh, you can check out uh, their channel. They they went over a very specific part of uh, what McGregor syndrome actually is, uh, which is what uh, Mr. Freeze's wife had. Right? Yeah. It's literally lung cancer. That's that's what McGregor syndrome is. Um, he like tracks down. He goes through it. Um, Mr. Freeze cured his wife of McGregor syndrome when he froze her because he froze and killed every cell in his wife's body so he he, he Mr- cured her but he also killed her mr freeze is amazing he can create all the puns that he wants yes yeah, he's, he's got yeah. the power of frozen puns oh my god that shit was amazing i just batman is an enigma to me yeah how many puns does he have in his fucking utility Wait, did he have any, zero did he have any sprays in batman forever because i mean batman forever is the only batman movie that i remember watching that i'm just like my favorite my favorite um uh, piece of equipment in that movie rubber lips yes <laughs> yes after poison ivy kisses him oh that shit drove me nuts man i had such a crush on poison ivy when i was a kid when i first saw that movie i was like did, wait did you have a crush on poison ivy or did you have a crush on uma thurman uma thurman's pretty fucking <clears throat> badass because i saw her later on in kill bill and i was like you know what still got it i, I still sure. can't get over the fact that she looks like someone hit her in the face with a frying pan <laughs> I, I I I wouldn't say that necessarily that she's traditionally attractive so much as, um, it's the attitude. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's the attitude. It's the personality. Sure. It's 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 when it's when a woman is so badass and independent that you're just like, fuck yeah. Yeah. That does it for me. That's my that's my finish. Yeah, that's a different episode. Yeah. So uh, he also has a bat freeze pill in his belt. All right, how's that different than the freeze shit, other stuff? It's literally a pill that freezes himself. Uh, so it's like a cyanide tablet, but like... So, okay. <laughs> Mr. Freeze freezes? No, just... Or like... Lowers Zach's, his or, body or, or, temperature. Or like Zack Snyder freeze time freezes. Yes, yeah, no, lowers his body temperature specifically. <laughs> just lowers it slightly? Yeah, so he went up against the Riddler. They strapped him up with something He's that like, was affected right by body heat, but luckily Batman carried with him a bat freeze pill that would lower his body temperature. To combat the heat. To combat the heat. Just enough. Just perfect. Just just enough that it doesn't that's kill him. Li- but that, that's situational again. Like that's the dose was perfect to the Riddlers. Yeah. That's a you that, know, that's a risky pill though. Kudos to you, Bruce. Yeah. Brucey. No, fuck you, Bruce. You can't you can't fucking do that. It, it, it makes me Bruce. wonder though because he's used it the, once in the comics. Does he still have it in his utility belt? Like, is there is it possible that someone could write a story tomorrow where Batman needs to lower his body temperature? Okay, if he somehow and he whips had, out a pill. If he somehow had, like, I wonder if he goes home and he's like, I don't need this anymore. If he somehow had like a quantum belt where he like reaches in and grabs whatever he needs out of the belt. Oh, so it's like Deadpool's sack. Wait, that's a thing. What? Doesn't Deadpool have like a bag that's like has an infinite like space in it? No. You're thinking of... Santa. Well, Santa, and you're also thinking of the chick from uh, Big Hero 6. But not the Big Hero 6 movie, but from the Big Hero 6 comic. Don't you tits. Okay, did you watch Big Hero 6? Okay. The, the cartoon? Okay. The point is... The... Let me finish this. The chick that has the balls that she pulls out of her purse and throws the balls... Unless she gave this to Batman, I don't see how this is relevant... I just I you've got me off topic now. I'm gonna go, I'm sticking with it. Next time I'm in off the comic, topic with Greg. In the comic, her purse is like a dimensional purse, and she can reach in, and she always pulls out whatever she I needs. I thought Deadpool had satchel that was like infinite. No. So Batman also carries laughing gas in his belt. Who doesn't? <laughs> I can see the laughing gas. I mean, but this probably wasn't like what the dentist gives you. This is probably. 
I'm what? thinking it's probably like Joker. The, style. the campy get laughing gas, like it makes you laugh literally, mm. uncontrollably. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. So, Why villagers. Do you think Batman's cool after shit like this. The villagers were being tormented by local giants, Wait, what? so. Batman decided to make it so the giants no longer bothered the villagers. Not any giants, and Alex. Part of his no, no, plan no, no. Local giants. Dousing the gi- giants with laughing gas. As opposed to foreign giants. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> There's something I hate more. You know what? When when Trump finally gets rid of all the foreign giants, yep, I can't we're wait for still going to have an issue with the local giants. That's going to be pull a on, really big on. wall, though. Giants go home and they're like, oh, I'm here. It's like, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, foreign giants. Trump's only. Uh, only <laughs> only uh, only downside to the wall, right? Yeah. So, yeah, oh, can't build that wall high enough. Wasn't there an anime about that? Oh, Attack God on Titan. Me out, SA. <laughs> like, keep the wall down. Wait, wait. Are we gonna? Is like the whole world gonna become the Attack on Titan world? Like, I'm where, starting to think it. Are least... you trying to say that foreigners are gonna come eat us? No, no. I foreigners think, are gonna I think skin it... themselves and then be giant somehow. And like, they're not all skinned in the. Anyway, off topic. He has a mini Batman costume in his belt. Next time on Off Topic with Greg and yeah, getting this, racist with Alex. This, <laughs> this entire show is just what? gone to a mini Batman costume. A mini Batman costume. Yep. Just in case he gets, like, shrunk? And his clothes don't. I, I have no idea what the why he would have it in his belt. <laughs> Alright, so what kind of animals have been a part of Batman's regime in the past? What do you mean? He, he's got Ace the Bat Hound. Yep. There's a cow, isn't there? Yeah, but that's Damien's cow. <laughs> Damien's a cow. There's a bat cow. Yeah, yeah so, okay, so Batman's son, Damien, yeah. is the new Robin. And him and Batman, and I'm, actually, I think if I remember correctly, it was when him and Dick were the dynamic duo when everyone thought Bruce was dead. But anyway, Dick. so Batman and Robin had an adventure, and they went to a slaughterhouse, and one of the cows just happened to have a pattern on its face that looked like a bat. Yeah. And so Damien rescued the cow and brought it, and it now lives in the back. All the other cows died. Yep. <laughs> Screw those other cows, um, because they're not bat-themed. So, so what I'm basically I'm saying is, is there a bat-mouse or a bat-something small? No. That, or bat a bat-cat. A bat? There is. There a is, fucking bat? Is there a bat-bat? No, but there's bat-mite. <laughs> there's a mite? Yep. It's, like, like well, a what parasite? It, what it is, thing? it's... It, parasite it, mite? It, it, it doesn't belong bat to bat parasite mite? He, it's a he. He doesn't belong to Batman, but he's a, a multi-dimensional character that comes from another dimension that's a huge Batman fan and dresses himself up like Batman and follows Batman around in some sort of I'm way. just trying to f- justify who he's going to give the suit to, but as of right now, fuck Batman. Just have a mini version of a suit for me, just in case, you know, my Barbies need something. Yeah. He puts so, it on his G.I. Joes, and he's like, yeah. I just, I... <laughs> I just die what? I'm just... I don't, I don't know how... Fuck Batman. This pissed me off. Yeah, so the whole point to having the mini costume in this situation was he knocked out a criminal and dressed him up in the in the costume. In the mini costume? The, yeah. He knocked out a mini cur- criminal. But, it must have been. Something anybody could have done. He has crayons in his belt. Fucking... It's a, one... Two... <sighs> Yeah. Three. I'm Batman. I eat glue. Why does he have crayons in his belt? <laughs> well. Does, like great? <laughs> does it, he have the Crayola sharpener in there? It so, says it says grape on it though. In what? this situation, there was there was a train car that was out of control, and they had to come up with a way to stop the train. So luckily, Batman had crayons in his belt, so they could make a makeshift stop sign. What? Stop signs don't work to stop things. No, he used it. He used it. To, to, he threw it down yeah. in front of cars that were gonna drive into the path of the train. Okay, stop signs don't stop things. They suggest to stop. Well, apparently it worked <laughs> because like, oh, these shitty these cars fucking... stopped and did not get smushed by a train. So they see a stop sign made out of crayons and they're like, "That's a good idea." Hey, Batman's a great artist. So, with a couple of crayons, he can make a great-looking stop sign. Oh, my God. Here's a stop sign. Here's a picture of my house. Here's a picture of my parent. Never mind. Oh. Oh, he almost got too real. Batman's parents are dead. Batman makes me sick. Yeah, so the best part is in the comic book. 
when he does this, the poster board that that they're using when they start drawing is clearly shown to be white poster board. Yeah. But when he throws the sign down, the sign's all red with stop written on it. So he colored. So it he the obviously took the time to color in the, the entire whole sign. Thing. <laughs> and Robin's like, we have to stop the train. No, they're, no, they're this like has 10 to be feet away. Just, right. Like, you can't rush Robert art. There. Yeah. Yeah. You you can't. He he has a giant balloon of himself. Does, his, does he have the poster board in his Bat belt balloon? too? Well, obviously, with the last. Is one, it called yeah. Batloon? It has to be a Batloon. Batloon. Does he have helium in his belt to fill it? <laughs> I think it's self-inflating. So this actually goes back to the story with the giant. It's a sex doll. It's not a sex doll. It's huge. It's a if big. It's of himself, Batman has a. It's like one of those balloons himself. you would see on the Macy's Day Parade. Narcissistic cunt. He has a Macy's Day balloon? Apparently, because he used it to scare those giants in that giant story. Oh, no! <laughs> a giant... <laughs> so, wait, wait, so wait, that thing must... If, if it's so, a giant it, to a giant... Well, it's because in that same story, Batman was trying to convince the giants that he was a genie. Again, this has to do with the laughing gas and everything. Only genies have balloons. So he had a giant balloon of himself, and he blew it up and made the, bat, the giants believe it was really Batman. A giant Batman. Giants are fucking stupid. Well, they really are. I mean, the bigger you get, the smaller your brain gets. It's science. But oh, okay. <laughs> yep. Yep. So he's got a secret identity disc in his belt. What? Ow! Is this, is this another situational fucking? Thing? Hurts my head. It kind of does. Stupid it, shit. It's like th- fucking... This one you're really gonna love. It is literally. A, oh. a disc okay. that seems blank normally. Yeah. It doesn't look like there's anything on it. But if Batman thinks he's going to die, yeah. because he, at one point, he wanted people to know who he was if he died, he had a disc made so that he could do something with the disc, and then it would magically have all his contact information on it. So, you know, if, if I'm dead, here I am, I'm Bruce Wayne, here's my address. So, like, if the Joker's about to kill him, and he's tied up, and he's like, can I borrow your Hold laptop? <laughs> can I borrow your laptop? I am... He's like, is this a MacBook Air? You don't even have a CD drive on this thing. <laughs> yeah. What the fuck? It was made out of asbestos. But... So you had a cancer CD. <laughs> yeah. That's fire retardant. Yeah. Fire yep. retardant. Cancer CD. Cancer CD. Yeah, so he, ru- he puts a chemical on it. The chemical magically makes makes it appear with his real name. And it's really cute because it says Bruce Wayne and then in brackets Batman. That's adorable. And then his address. So that people know that Bruce Wayne is Batman. That worries me a lot. Why? He could have achieved the same thing with a post-it. Effectively. Or dog and a pen. Tags. Yeah, and a pen. He could use lemon and write on it and it would be like invisible ink. I mean, effectively. But yeah, and then the last one, which you've already brought up, we've talked about multiple times, is the bat shark repellent, which is very, very situational. Situational. If but that was actually that, used once in the comic. After he sprays it on the shark, the shark explodes. Well, yeah, doesn't all repellent make things explode? That's right. Isn't that the, what the word repellent so, means? So he uses the the female villain repellent, and he sprays it on her, and he's like, "Go away!" And she's like, "Ah!" And then she explodes, and he's like, "Holy fuck! I'm sorry." <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Holy shit. I'm not using that again. Ew. Now I smell like... Now I smell like exploding female bell Yeah, what am I gonna do? (laughs) Fuck. I'd love for just one Batman... Like, I'd love for them to bring Adam West back, right? Yep. And have him play Batman. And one scenario where the Riddler like kidnaps him, he's like, "Well, I'll let you go if you can tell me what gets wet as it dries." And he just goes, "Fuck!" <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Where he's just <laughs> Bat- Batman just like for no reason just drops a <sighs> "Fuck!" I don't know. I don't fucking know. Okay. What are you mentally handicapped? Shoot me! Yeah. <laughs> like. Just, just kill me now. What the fuck is this? <laughs> See, the best part is Adam West is too old to make a live action Batman, but he could easily voice that. Oh, of they're course. doing a new cartoon one with him. Yeah. 
I'm, th- I'm thinking Might something like new at this point. all they need is to get him on Robot Chicken and use do an episode of Robot Chicken where he does <laughs> something like has been on. <laughs> no, but I'm saying do. Yeah. yeah. The thing I love about Adam West is that he's always up for playing Adam West. Yeah, he knows he's typecast. Oh my god, yeah. He'll he's, literally play himself in anything. He doesn't care. He'll laugh at himself, and that's what's good about him. The only redeeming factor for me with Batman is Adam West. Pretty Lessons much. learned. That Batman keeps Adam, some pretty weird stuff in his belt. That Adam West is a Banff. A badass motherfucker, if you didn't. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Lessons learned. One thing Batman doesn't keep in his utility belt is is some good words to end this podcast on. Hey guys, thanks for watching that episode of Being the Big Fucking Nerd with Greg. Let us know in the comments below what you think might be a weird thing for Batman to keep in his utility belt. Uh, as always, we have all those nice new social media links down below. We continue to sell merchandise. If you uh, want to subscribe to us, click on the subscribe link up above. And if you want to watch our previous episode, click right about here. I think these guys are right about here. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs>